Whatever time I choose, find the Nidus, bring it to me. You will only see it in reflection, shining brightly. To retrieve the Nidus, you must form a circle round it. Then you will link hands and think of my eyes. Think of my eyes. Concentrate. That wasn't thunder, was it? No. A bomb. Where are we? Master Reef? Is that you? Master Reef? <laughs> oh, Miss Lucy, <laughs> no sound for that reason. Now, my lambs, I've not seen you since you were babes. Thomas Coleman must have brought you down last night as you slept. You still remember your old nun, nun, eh? <laughs> you come to buy us, please. Make haste and light the candle. Oh, Thomas? The children be here. We should need more candles. Well, where are we going? We are to make our way to safety through the cave. And with God's aid, we shall survive. <laughs> Ask her where we are. Survive what? That. If God indeed be with them, why do they need cannon? It is an impertinence to wish your enemies dead. But fie on all roundheads. They're not the soldiers of God, but the minions of the devil. <laughs> roundheads? The civil war. Yes. Which side are we on? The Lord keep her. Who? Poor puss, your mother. No, oh, they'll not stop till the house be in ruins. I do not value their God a groat a month. I'd let the house be taken. We shall not. Good. <laughs> now come, Miss Lucy, we'll be hurried. Oh. Oh, oh, here, here, Miss Lucy. There. Now, the journey is a long one, and the route tortuous. Only Madam and I know of it. But it'll take you to freedom, my lambs. <laughs> Who does she think we are? I don't know, but I'd rather be down here than up there. She must be expecting Reef Lucy and Tobias. Where are they, I wonder? She seems to recognize us. You think so? She can hardly see. Come, children. Come on. What was that? Like an electric shock. Must be static off your cloak. Madam, I have played kings, but not now. What is your name, sir? My name? I go under many names. Alas, I am forced to play many varied roles in these hazardous times. Is it truly not His Majesty? I am a player, madam. Lost. All my props destroyed. My troop dispersed, and I hiding. Scuttling in these caves like a rat. Mm. 
Don't you know me? Know you? I know you. Are you a player, sir? If so, then we are well met. I intend to do a piece for the conquering army, whichever that is. The way things are going, it will be the death of a king. On the other hand, if the tide turns, it will be about the death of a tyrant. <laughs> Sir, I have a duty to perform, a mission. You must not delay it. Master Tobias, Miss Lucy. There he is. It's... It might be. You've been tricked before by Bello. Who are you, sir? Hmm? Who am I? I'm afraid my memory is not what it might be after my fall. The man's a player, an actor, and a vagabond, no doubt. We cannot waste time with but him. We know him. Oh, I think we do. No, me? Well, that's to be expected, I suppose. After all, I have played him most of the leading... Oh, come, right. my chucks, oh, and you, Master Rafe. When the house falls, we must be far away. Right, lads, remember? Shh. Roundheads are in. Hurry, children! The roundheads are victorious already, but I'm not ready with my peace. Oh, dear. Is your name Rothko? 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 Yes. No, uh, but I know that name. Well, don't you remember? Whenever we find you, we have to speak your name. Then you can help us. Mm, uh, my nag was startled by the cannon fire. I was forced to leap from the cart, hit my head, lost all my props, and half my memory. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. No, not that way. Not this, way. Way. No, this way. This way. What's that way? Nan! Nan lost! Nan! Nan lost! Where is Nan? She must have gone, ma'am. And the children, too. Children? Aye, they'll be safe now. The children not arrived here. They were sent to Ludlow. But I saw them here. Rafe, Lucy and Tobias. At least I thought it was them. Oh, the candles are taken, my lady. What children are these? No! Those children must be found at once. I am Colonel Chadwick, madam, and you are under arrest. Where's Phil? And the man? Behind somewhere. They won't know how to find us. We'll have to find them. We'll never get the night if we stay with her. She seems pretty determined to save us. We must get back. What should we do? Get ready to hide your candle. Children with no time for games. Now, now, stop this now. No, no, my love, do not play the fool. Come back, you rapscallions. What about the Nidus? Nidus? The Nidus, remember? You sent us to find it. I did. Forgive me, so many things fill my mind. I must have the piece ready to celebrate the victory of the parliamentary gentleman. Do you think they would appreciate Mr. Dryden? Oh, 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 no. Far too frivolous for godly men. Rothko, please, can't you remember anything? Shakespeare, perhaps. Have you got any of your powers? Magic? I once played Shakespeare before the king, you know. How can I give them my leer without makeup, props? Magic? No, it went down very badly in London. What about Bellor? Bellor? Now, there's a name I know. What company was he with? She. She's your enemy. She stole the Nidus from me. Oh, you must remember. She did. Forgive me, the loss of my entire troops say nothing of the, the cart and those props. My head has disturbed me greatly. Uh, stay with me, lad. Uh, help me, I shall remember shortly. Oh, what play could I do for these gentlemen? Why don't you join me? Can you act, boy? No matter, I have it. What? We shall give them Richard II. Yes, it fits well. What must the king do now? The king shall be contented. Must he lose the name of king? Perfect. I'll give my jewels for a set of beads, my gorgeous palace for a hermitage. You know it by heart. We're doing it for O-level. Hmm. I know it by heart, too. My gay apparel... <coughs> Excuse me. 
My gay apparel for an armsman's gown. My... Uh, my figured goblets for a dish of wood. And my large kingdom for a... And my large kingdom for a little, little grave, an obscure grave. I'll be buried in the king's highway, somewhere of common trade where subjects feet may hourly trample on their sovereign's head, for on my heart they tread now, whilst I live! Or die! Look out, Rothko! Rothko? Of course! I am a Rothko! You did it. You've still got your powers. So I have. I didn't realise. Uh, why was that? Perhaps it's because you're Rothko. We're near the Nidus. The Nidus? Of course. We must find the Nidus. Lost. Do you remember this bit? We are lost, aren't we? No, I'm sure we came this way. They all look the same. We should have stayed with that old woman. Yeah, she could have been Bella. Well, I don't think she was. Oh, this way. I remember now. You must be the housekeeper, are you not? Sir, I am no ordinary prisoner, as you will soon find out. Indeed. To me, you seem like a very ordinary prisoner. One who's not yet learned to see the hopelessness of her position. You are not bidden to sit. Do not try my patience, madam. Two days forced march without food, I'm very tired. In return for a favour, I can show you a way to have all of this. I know a safe passage through the cave. No one would know anything about it. The children. What children? The children of Lord and Lady Courtney. No, don't tell him. Get this man out. Traitor. Traitor. Well? Traitor. They arrived here last night. They are escaping through the cave. If you can catch them, they know the whereabouts of the king. Assemble some men at once. Yes, sir. You are indeed extraordinary, madam, to betray your own people. Why? They've stolen something of mine out of here. I must have it back. What might that be? Something very old. An heirloom, you might say. I presume it's very valuable. To me, yes. You spoke of a way through these caves. When I have what you want, you can have all of this and a safe way out. I'm in no mood to bargain, madam. We might as well try, Terry. Look, Helen, we can't contact Rothko with just the two of us. We could try. OK, then. <laughs> Don't know. Let's try and get Rothko. 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 Yes. Two of you can be dead. They must be near to you. The virus is close to you. Do you hear me? It's not coming through very clearly. Bring it to me. Keep going, Helen. He's too weak. Shh. What does he say? Shh. I don't know. say? Don't know. Sounded like close. The Nidus. He must mean the Nidus. That's why we felt the power. Yeah. How close, though? These children will have vital information concerning the King's whereabouts. Find them, bring them to me. Aye, sir. Stop! Return! Quick, march! Uh, don't worry, madam. They will not be shamefully treated. Our soldiers are whipped for bad oaths. I never doubted you were a man of absolute probity, sir. You are a woman of rare perception, madam. I feel obliged to inform you that since Marston Moore, there is no hope for the king. He runs on hither and thither to those he thinks of as friends, loyal friends. But soon he will be taken, and that will be an end to it. He will be tried and undoubtedly executed. Is that what you desire above all? No, madam. I desire what every soldier would, 
to be home, knowing where he will sleep at night, knowing he'll not be damp. Oh, to rise from a warm, dry bed to an honest day's toil. You have no stomach for war? I confess I have no heart for this war, madam. A soldier's duty is to fight the enemies of his country. But when his country is ravaged by civil war, only one bereft of his senses would not yearn fervently for an end to it. But what would you, a lady living a life of ease in a great house, understand of these things? More than you might think, Colonel. I, too, wait impatiently for a victory. It now seems perilously close to defeat. Come on, Rothko, we must find Helen and Terry. I must just try once more. This could mean a revolution in stage lighting. Let there be light in this cave. <clears throat> Not so good that time. I thought it was a superb blackout. Uh, how's that? Fine, the status quo now, come on. The status quo? What about that soldier? Guaranteed to bring the house down. Die! Oh, dear. Uh, go. Uh, vanish. Oh, do go away, you boring fellow. This here's one of the other children, a blackamoor. And you, you're coming to the colonel. Now, look here, my good fellow. How dare you? To think I'd prepared entertainment for these vulgar roundheads, ruffians, all of them. Oh, your colonel shall hear about this. Those children must be found. My men are attending to it, madam. Do not fret so. This heirloom must indeed be precious. You would not understand, Colonel. It is my future and my past. An inheritance? Oh, yes. They must stop those children. In that we are in accord. You to retrieve your inheritance, I to question them on a matter concerning the king. And these? If proven to be royalist property, they will help fill the coffers of the state. In here, both of you. Yeah. Oh, I found one of the children, sir. Good. And this. It is time to destroy you, Rothko, once and for all. You send children, frighten children to recover the night. <laughs> they present no problem to me. Neither do you. Each blow diminishes your strength, Bellor. You grow ever weaker, Rothko. Soon you will be no more. But if I hold you here, even frightened children have a chance to get the Nidus back. <laughs> your point of weakness, Bellor. Who is this other fellow? A player, sir. Is he, indeed? And the other children? Still such sir. Good. Now, Blackamoor, do you want your freedom, boy? Oh, yes, sir. Then tell me, where have you and your friends come from? Did you see anything of the king? Uh, pay attention, boy. What? Where is your master now? We know he was summoned to attend the king on a royal journey to York. Where is he now? Oh, madam, perhaps you would like to question that uncommunicative wretch. Now, what is happening here? Do you not wish to question him concerning the heirloom stolen from the chest? The Nidus. Helen and Terry have got in. <sighs> Stop him! God! I see them! This way! Here! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Safe keeping, ma'am. Where's that prison? Never you mind. <laughs> I can be of great assistance to you, Colonel. In what way, madam? I can show you the way to great knowledge. The only thing we took from this to place was a candlestick. That's got to be the Nidus, hasn't it? If Helen and Terry get caught, they'll bring it back here. Could you hold Bellow if I made a break for it? Of course. We've got to get round it before Bellow kicks it on to another time. Look out. The player's a warlock. Beware of him. And do. 
What are you? A woman who can give you powers greater than any military might. Power to rule this land, if that be your wish. You speak treason, madam. Treason, is it? And think on this. You would be no more traitor than Oliver Cromwell. Silence! We stand for all who truly desire their liberty and freedom. Politics. I offer you the power of the gods. You spout politics? Take heed, madam. Blasphemers shall perish by fire. <laughs> the candlestick from the chest. It's the Nidus. Where is it? I dropped it. Uh. Take her. She's a witch. Uh. No, me, witch. Oh. Stalagmites. That's right. Well, let's keep going. See if we can find it. That's it. You sure this is the place? Yes. Yes, this is it. Where's the Nidus? Did the soldiers pick it up? No. And where is it? I'm sure it was here. Look at this. Somebody's taken the candlestick. Oh, no. This isn't your candle, is it, Helen? The old woman. She must have found it. Oh, great. She'll be miles away by no. now. No. I expect she'll be looking for us. Which means she's probably on her way back to Bellhaw. Yeah. Rothko? Rothko! Who's there? Anitus. Well, I must lure it back. It's me, Nan. The children have gone this way. Come with me. I hear them calling, Mom. From this way. <laughs> Candlestick, throw it now. Throw it. 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 Throw it.